This video is for all the powdery fragrance lovers. I have my top 15 of this year. There's been so many, but I have my top 15 violet iris fragrances. And there's a lot, and they go a lot of different directions. And for both men and women, I've got them for you. Stay tuned for that. If you're new here, my name is Greta and I absolutely love fragrances. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell. It really does help my channel. I really appreciate that. It truly does help me. But let's get into this because powdery fragrances are something that I personally really love. I love a powdery tone. And I have everything here from like powdery vanillas, powdery leathers, candied violets, violets and irises in general called purple flowers. Those purple flowers tend to be very powdery. Sometimes it's orris root, orris or orris root. I remember it as orris and iris sound a lot alike. That is the root of an iris flower and again is also very creamy kind of powdery, more on the creamy side than the powdery. Violets are like a candied kind of powdery and iris tends to be more of like a talcum powder kind of powdery if you're not familiar, if you're new to fragrance and don't really know the notes too well. I'm here to help you. I love, love educating my passions. So let's dive into this. This started as a top 10 and grew. I was like, oh wait, I can't forget this. Oh wait, I can't forget this. So here we have it. Let me start with this. These aren't even part of the top 15, but I need to mention the icons that have been around for a long time. And these are it for women, probably unisex, but definitely for women is by Prada Le Infusions de Iris. This is just an iris powdery fragrance. It is beautiful, but this is a basic light fragrance. Doesn't last as long. I love it. It's literally just your iris, basically. So it's a powdery floral, is it? It's pretty simplistic, doesn't last that long. It's very clean. It's a great morning fragrance. Or if you kind of don't want to wear anything, but you want to have a scent kind of a feeling, it's it. And for men, Dior Ohm Intense and EDP. There's so many flankers, so many different like year versions. This is this is the Dior Ohm Intense EDP. And it is so good for men. It is a classic. If you have a fragrance collection, this is one you should have in there. It's so like basic classic fragrance. It is so good. Oh my goodness. Um, it's kind of a woody kind of edge to it. There's a woody edge to it, um, almost a little green on the opening, definitely masculine for the women wondering. Um, it does dry down to more of a lipsticky kind of powdery fragrance that is so sexy. It's powdery in a sexy masculine way that is just, it kind of sets the bar and it's constantly used for comparison's sake that it's just something you should get your nose on. I'm not a big fan of the other flankers to this. I keep trying them whenever I'm in duty freeze in different countries in the USA. I just don't like them as much as this one. It's really good. So those are the two like bars that just classics you should have in your collection. Now, I know you are all super excited and dying to hear about this fragrance. Wow, House of Siage with the drops. Holy cow, there's three more drops coming. So I will feature this right now and then I'll do another video on those four. They also have Wednesday coming out, Wednesday from the Adams Family, um, more like dark sardonic kind of fragrance. And then they have the Looney Tunes, Bugs Bunny and Tweety Bird also dropping. I think those are December 11th and 14th. They're on pre-order. I'm super excited for those. Um, Bugs Bunny, I was really hoping there would be like carrot seed oil in there or carrot. Like carrot is another powder, powdery note. 
Um, it's kind of like poor man's orris root because orris root is super expensive. Carrot is used a lot as a substitution, as a more affordable kind of substitution. And I thought they really kind of missed a great opportunity. I didn't see that in the notes. And like, come on, Bugs Bunny, Carrot, come on. Anyway, I will definitely be getting those. I will do, I think, a combo video on all of them. I'll just wait for them to all come in. But for now, mini. We had the Mickey. Then we had their mini, man, House of Siage with like the Hollywood collaborations between Disney, Warner Brothers, and now um, Looney Tunes, which is, are they Warner Brothers? There's another collaboration I saw on their website. Anyway, now it's 100 years of Disney, so they have the Disney 100. These are very different. This is a raspberry marshmallow with a stream of caramel. This is very different. This is violets. This is violet candies. Uh, like a musk kind of fragrance. It opens, okay, it's not in the notes, but this opens strawberry smelling to me, but like a strawberry, violets, powdery kind of fragrance. Oh, there is strawberry. There's strawberry in the, in the base, which is so weird, but I get the strawberry right off the bat on this one. It's so good. And the strawberry goes with violet candies so well. I love this one. I know. I always say I love them. I really do love House of Siage. Okay. This is orange and lemon at the top, but I'm telling you the strawberry comes through right away and you do get this like vibrant, fruity kind of thing. And then there's a mid of Lily of the Valley, orange blossom and violets. Giving it a open, light, floral, clean floral. Lily of the Valley is like a watery, clean floral. Uh, what's the other one? Orange Blossom smells like oranges, which blends with those top notes of citruses really well. So you're getting a very light, citrusy, clean kind of fragrance. And then you have this strawberry that comes through right away. Uh, the violets sandalwood and musk so you're really getting this like candied powdery clean musk if that makes sense it's good it is not a beast it definitely rides closer but is more about the sillage and longevity but it is not a big projector this is one that is going to be easy to wear to work or something where you're just kind of leaving this stream of the girl that smells good without being this like ostentatious beast. You just smell good. You're just like that girl that smells like powdery candy. It's my type. Okay. It is my type. You know, I like fruity. You know, I like powdery. Like it is my type. It is my, it's my jam. It's my jam. That's literally what it is, like strawberry, powdery, candied violets. Um, it doesn't change very much after that first few minutes where it's like poof, citrus, a little bit of strawberry, and then like the candied violets come through. And it's not like huge different stages. It's fairly linear, this fragrance. But I'm a fan. Like, I'm a big fan. This is seriously my style. I mean, mini is my style too. If anything, I would say, weirdly, this is more spring maybe because it's lighter, powdery, clean. And this is your heavy raspberry marshmallow caramel that I feel like this is a little more wintry beast, even though the seasons were a little flip-flopped here, but I could still wear both of them year round but the weight on this is definitely different than the weight on this. This is a bomb, like love don't be shy kind of bomb, right? This is um, powdery sillage. It's lighter. It's got that musk to it. It's um, a fluffy kind of, it's a lot like Mallow also from Soradora. Very, a lot of similarities there, but Mallow doesn't have strawberry. I'm going to get to Mallow, but yeah, it's a win for me. It's a win. It's a big win. Then next up, this one I almost forgot. I saw this while I was walking behind the camera and was like, whoa, we forgot you. We need to include you in this baby. You belong in this video. And that is Dior Bois d'Argent. And I love this gigantic bottle. Can I tell you how much I love this? What is this, like eight ounces or something? 16 ounces? Like 
400 ml, I think. I went for, this is like a hairspray bottle. This thing is so big. My gosh, like seriously, let me compare you to this little guy. Like it's giant. Okay, let's put this in perspective. It's giant. And I love it. I got this while I was in Cannes and I got to try it. I had like 8 ml atomizers of this from subscription boxes and wasn't feeling it because I never waited 15 minutes. Impatient me, go figure. The first opening is very green and I'm not into a green kind of iris, a green cold iris, I call it also. I prefer a warm, a warmer, sweeter iris. I like that better than cold and this opens cold. It has more like the fig leaves to it and I don't really like that so much. However, the dry down on this is to die for. It is a powdery vanilla that is just, it is this floating on your skin kind of sweet cosmetic, almost cosmetics powder, but more like a vanilla, vanilla powdered sugar kind of woody vanilla is what it is. It's so good. I, I can't even look at those fragrantica notes because I don't get like honey. I'm, I don't know how right that is. Uh, juniper berries. I don't know. But this is what I get. It opens very green kind of iris, which I don't like. But And then it changes a lot within 10 minutes. And then it's like, it turns on a dime. It just, boom, is totally opposite and is warm and fluffy and cozy and like, yeah, like vanilla powder. It's just phenomenal, phenomenal. Love it. That's Bois d'Argent. Now talking about vanilla powder, how could I not mention vanilla powder? The same. I'm going to say pretty similar, except Bois d'Argent you have to wait 10 minutes to get to this beautiful thing and this is more potent now this is probably this is the only matière primaire that i purchased that i own and purchased at all i've never been gifted any i was gifted a 6 ml of this and by lucky scent and as soon as i received it i was like yep that's what i thought it would be and i purchased the full bottle i use my own code all the time it's I actually have a discovery kit from them and I didn't like really any of them enough to purchase. When I was in Venice in a perfume shop, I tried them all again and they were definitely better than my samples. I couldn't get anything out of my samples. Like they just, they were all lackluster. So I think they just were maybe decanted when they were in an excited state or something. They just, I, I couldn't get anything out of them. In the store, they all smelled beautiful and I loved them. But again, none of them that I loved enough to purchase, this one I fell in love with. This one is my speed. It's literally vanilla powder. Very similar, except there's more woodiness in Bois d'Argent. There's no woodiness in here. It's literally just that fluffy vanilla powder. Um, yeah, these are all in that same realm right here. I'm going to go through different styles. Right now, these are all in that like vanilla powder kind of style. A little bit more on the candied violets and fruit with the Disney. But this one is such a winner. And again, a good performer. Um, the Dior's, I find, I like them in big formats and you can buy large format because you need to spray a lot. They're made to spray a lot. That's why they come in such large sizes. This one, you don't have to spray as much. This one is a house that is new to me that I've fallen mad in love with. And I think this might, no, it is. This one's going to make my 2023 list. Just so you know, I'm also going to film my top fragrance discoveries for 2023. And this is by far on the top of that list. I literally just last night, this 50 ml was sent to me, but I just ordered 200 ml bottles last night because I was freaking out that you guys were all wanting decants of this. And I'm like, Okay, I only have a little 50 ml and I'm starting to feel greedy right now and like worried that you guys are taking it all. So I ordered 200 mls from them directly and again, used my own code to go buy that. And I think like, I don't know, should I carry this? I think Lucky Scent has this too, but it is cheaper buying direct from them. I'll tell you that. It's definitely cheaper if you use my code over at Ronnie J and I got free shipping too. 
So I, you can buy the 100 ml at Ronnie J. You can only get the 50 ml at Lucky Scent. Obviously, 100 ml are much better buys. And this is seriously one of my favorite. I would make this a signature scent in a heartbeat. The Musk, Mo did I even tell you? Musk Moshes. I mean, you give it this aldehydic classiness, almost that Chanel-esque kind of vibe to it, the way like Chanel has this DNA. And then it's this creamy sandalwood musk vanilla kind of coziness. So you have that coziness with this classy edge to it. Um, a lot of you liked, what was it, Kryptonite? I mean, whatever happened that brand, I don't know. They kind of like flaked out on everyone. But, and I really liked it too. And this one has that same style too. I like this better. Man, this is so good. I love this the way I loved Nua by Raja. If you're around, you know how much I like. Was Mad in Love, Signature Scent. Still stand by that. Love that fragrance. This one's more affordable. This is a lot more affordable. You're going to get 100 ml, 225 euros for 100 ml. That's what it was. That's what it cost me. Pricey. But I didn't need a whole lot of this. Like, I just, I love this one. There's black currant in here. It's black currant and bergamot. Now, there's no aldehydes in here, but what I mean is it has that kind of sparkle to it that you normally get in aldehydes, even though it's not in here, there's just this, this certain, just like not every Chanel has aldehydes in it, but even like the Chanel Chance, there's that DNA of Chanel, right? There's just this sparkle to it. But it's this like bergamot, black currant, oh gosh, and then this creamy, sweet, vanilla, musk, sandalwood, and iris, powdery iris. It's like, <sighs> almost like commodity milk, but not lactonic, but has that coziness to it. Piano Santal. It's all in that kind of vein of fragrances. I am mad, in, mad in love with this fragrance. Like seriously, I went and bought two 100 bottles because I was freaking out. I figured, okay, I'll have a bottle. I can decan a bottle for me because I want it. Like this, I want this. But I do like you guys to be able to try this stuff. Like, I'm trying to share. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's so hard. And it's your favorite. You want to gatekeep, you know? This is one that I feel really compelled to want to gatekeep and keep to myself. I never understood gatekeeping. I'm not. I really like it. But that's this. And I, I, I'm, like, blessed that they sent this to me because I would have never in a million years tried this brand. Like, this is like the good part of PR and having stuff sent to me. Like I would have, I never heard of this brand. I never even saw it at the meetings. Like I didn't know. It. And they've been around for a few years. They're, I think, better known in, in France, which is where it's from, Paris. But I'm so blessed because I absolutely madly love this fragrance. It's so classy, so elegant, so clean, but cozy. It is like, if you have fond memories, of your very classy, elegant mom. When you're little, I don't mean like an old mom. I mean, when you're really little and your mom is still really young, a young mom, but you, she's just like, she's the pretty mom that's always put together. This is this lady. This is the lady. She's always got the hair and the makeup on point. I just, I can't rave enough about this one. I, I... They also sent me Jasmine Kama, which is pretty popular, but I like this one. This is the one I love. I don't always like the popular one. I'm always, you know, I pick them myself. I, you know, I'll decide myself. That's kind of how I roll. But that's the one. I'm telling you, that's the one. All right, let me move on. I have a couple for men. They're not men's per se. Some of them are, but they work really well on men. One is by Carnal Barcelona Fig Man. This is, yes, a fig fragrance and then also like a shaving foam kind of feel. It has a very clean, almost beachy kind of feel to it. Almost like there's sand in here. Like shaving, like you're on the beach at the beach house and like the doors are open and you're getting that beach air and you're shaving. It's kind of what I get. Along with this iris in here that gives a little bit of that powderiness that you get into your own. 
I find this so sexy and clean. It's a very clean, sexy man's fragrance. This is one of their best sellers, I think, too. Uh, there's a touch of cardamom in here, like a dry cardamom, a dry spice that gives it also that masculine edge. I find this one such a great day scent or work scent, um, vacation scent. There's just something nice about that. I just, it's so, it's such a pleasant, clean scent that, yeah, I really like this one. It's definitely a day scent, not an evening scent, but there's something very relaxing, clean, and masculine, like, manly about it that I like. I like this one a lot. There's Gayak wood, tonka bean, and patchouli leaf in the base. Uh, fig tree. Okay, there's fig fruit and fig tree in here. I do find it very like fig, beach, like you've got fresh figs on the counter, the door's open, you're at the beach house, and you're sh I don't know where I get shaving foam from, but I personally get this shaving foam kind of feel, like this clean, like you're out of the shower and you're shaving. I love that smell of shaving foam, though. It's kind of what I get. Yeah, and a dash of dry cardamom. It's good. I'm a big fan of Corner Barcelona. I find them to be pretty affordable too. I personally love their mini sets and I've gotten some really good deals from Corner Barcelona that you can get them pretty affordable. Then I have from Olfactive Studio Iris Shot. I had always heard about this one, was super curious. I have this leather sleeve. Let me see here. I have this leather sleeve for mine too. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like a little bit of a dunce with this leather sleeve. Like when I press, watch this, <laughs> see that? I am a dunce. Like I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Like I'm pretty sure I'm the only one because I've never heard that before. So if you have any insight, let me know. Cause I feel like whenever I push down, I'm pushing down and the sleeve is riding up. Like. Um, I must be doing something wrong because, yeah, um, I can be a little blondie. All right. This one, again, is aldehydic, open air, fresh, with a little bit of cardamom. You have that powderiness. It's a little bit on the cold side, this iris. Like I said, I personally prefer a really warm, sweet, powdery iris. This is a little more cold, green, a little bit more of that stem kind of feel to it. And there's carrot seeds in here. Remember I mentioned carrots can also like play into lending into that whole powdery kind of vibe while being a little bit more affordable than Oris or Iris. Um, it has a little bit more of an earthy edge to this one, a little bit more of a greener feel, an earthier feel while also being this airy, powdery, floral iris. I feel like it's, this one leans great for men. Oh, I have the hiccups now. Oh my goodness. This one runs, um, there is cedar and ambroxan and vetiver in here. I feel like it runs a little masculine. This leans slightly masculine here, this one, at least for my personal taste. I think this one smells amazing on a man. A woman can certainly wear it. If you're big on Room 1015 Sonic Flower, this was really popular. This is a green iris, it, a cold iris in here. This is a little along those lines, similar. I feel like this runs more feminine, maybe. They're actually along the same lines. This has some vetiver in it, a little bit of cardamom in here. The pink pepper. There's there's like a little bit of spark in here where this leans more of that like green floral. Along those same lines, though, I think you'd like Iris shot. Okay, this one's gonna surprise you that I put it in here, and I'm telling you, it's because people. Just don't understand this. It's Queers by Kerner Barcelona. And Queers means leather. So people like, oh, it's a leather fragrance. This to me is more of an iris with leather, but I don't normally like a lot of leather iris fragrances out there. This might actually be the only one. Well, there's another one in here, but I really like this one better. Like this one, I actually love wearing because to me personally, it's more... 
it's almost more about that sweet powdery iris than the leather but that it just it makes that leather so enjoyable it's it's more like a sandalwood fragrance it's like a sandalwood iris fragrance that also has some oud and leather hidden in there that kind of just strengthens it gives it some craft you know like strength kind of kind of does that oh my god did i just sound like jeremy fragrance saying craft i just yes i'm dermot i can't help it but i can't believe i just did that but yeah it gives it craft it's just it's it's yeah i to me it's more of an iris fragrance and i absolutely love this one queers by carter barcelona you got to try this one i have this in a large bottle i have like two minis i can't have enough of it because again i love taking the minis from carter barcelona along with me when i travel they're my favorite travel fragrances if there's a house that is always in my bag it's this and mikalev probably those are the two houses that always somehow are in my bag they're just great travel houses and this one especially i love their blue fragrances the queers the piano san uh the, the palo santo like i really love this house and queers is one of my favorites from them then i have this other new release that i have really really enjoyed and that is dixie iris by coastal carolina fragrances or perfumes coastal carolina perfumes this is inspired by the gulf coast of texas this is a brand that is in north carolina and it definitely has that seashore flair again. There's a little bit of sage in here. There's some sea salt, some grapefruit at the top, definitely giving that clean kind of seashore vibe to it. Again, you have some cardamom and iris and violet. There's some orris butter in here, giving it some creaminess in a vanilla, amber, tonka bean, sandalwood, pinewood base. This is one I love. Now, to me, it kind of opens with that grapefruit and pepper, cardamom, like it opens where I'm like, oh, are you gonna be masculine? And then I think, oh, maybe it really does lean nice, warm, powdery, feminine. Like it kind of goes back and forth and I realize it really is so perfectly unisex. This is one I absolutely love. So I also have this 15 ml, that I tried first, and since I loved it, I got the 50 ml, that I'm gonna give the 15 ml away to somebody that they can enjoy this. So comment down below and tell me that you love iris and violet or purple or purple flowers, and I will enter you. Make sure you're subscribed, hit the like button, I make it easy peasy, and I will pick someone. And again, international, Europe, Australia, Canada, not UK. Sorry, you guys are really hard with Brexit. Sorry. And I'll enter you for Dixie Iris. I really, really enjoy this one. So I'll put this in the pile of the giveaways. I've got so many going on right now. If you haven't seen my other videos, I think that's the fourth giveaway, I think, that I filmed now. So like for the week. So definitely keep an eye on my other videos because I've got a ton of giveaways going on for December. Keep an eye on that. But anyway, and I make it really easy for you because it's really about me just giving back to you and sharing. So Dixie Iris. Then moving on again, kind of staying in that realm a little more masculine-like. I have from Carolina Herrera, her Privé Confidential Collection. Um, Carolina Herrera, Iris Empire. This one is definitely a spicy edge to it. It's definitely a warm, spicy fragrance with that ice, Iris leather, which I told you I don't typically like iris leather um there's very few of them that i actually care for that i find blended enough and heavy enough on the iris for me where it's not just about the leather definitely has a warm spiciness to this one um oof. sexy great winter fragrance great on a man yes a woman can wear this definitely in cold weather for a woman particularly but man this is sexy oof What's in here? This is a uh, chocolate cinnamon leather with like patchouli and divana giving this earthiness to it. But definitely this spiciness. I get like cinnamon and cardamom. I don't know if cardamom's listed, but I really get that like spicy kind of nature to it. 
with that sweet benzoin in here, like it's got those sweet sappy resins in here also, that it's really not this prominent leather fragrance. I'd say it's more prominent on the spices and then on the iris and then on the leather, but like it's kind of really well blended in here. It's not really prominent anything other than you get this warm spicy fragrance that is really tempered and softened because of those powdery florals in here makes it just so gentle while being warm spicy. I think this is amazing. You got to get your hands on this. Got to get your nose on Iris Empire. Um, this is a more recent edition. I think I got this last winter, maybe in the spring during a sale, I think, because people weren't going for this one in the spring. I love this whole collection. Leaning slightly masculine again, slightly. I like this one is Nero Intenso by Salas. And again, yes, you can get either the glass art top or just the gold ball. The way I wheel this thing around when I'm filming, I get nervous. But this one is like powdery citrus. And that citrus is kind of a hard citrus where I feel like that hardness to it makes it feel a little more masculine, depending on what you're used to wearing. Woody. It's like a woody citrus iris kind of fragrance. I like this. There's a freshness to it. That citrus top note blends into the orange blossom so it continues to feel orangey and that floral aspect kind of carries off that citrus note right into the floral um, lending to that but definitely like citrus powdery with this creamy woodiness of this like sandal it to me is more sandalwood than patchouli more like a orris sandalwood kind of base so it gives it this soft fluffy powdery kind of feel to it um, for men, I think it would come off almost shaving cream like, and on women, it comes off as a more clean, powdery kind of fragrance. That citrus really invigorates things, and this has been sitting here for at least an hour. Yeah, I really like this. Okay, one more in that kind of speed, and then I'm going back to the candy ones. This is by EPC, and it's Amber Iris. This one is definitely more ambery, sweet, syrupy, sweet, heavy almost nutty like this is a nutty ambery with that powdery iris on top kind of like an icing on top really about that syrupy ambery nut it's the myrrh and the incense giving it that like syrupy nutty kind of feel to it um that that rooty wood kind of feel to it um yeah Definitely got that like myrrh. I mean, you know what myrrh, that churchy kind of smell, that like nutty, syrupy kind of feel to it. I like this one. Um, and then that iris on top, very comforting kind of fragrance. A little bit of that church feel. Amber iris. All right, I'm gonna have to go faster. Grey Charnel, one of my absolute favorites. We're talking fig, we're talking cardamom, and we're talking this comforting violet candies in here. A fluffy bomb on you. However, it's got that cardamom pop, which is pretty popular in with iris and violet. I'm realizing a lot of them do cardamom as like this juxtaposition kind of contrast to that iris that goes really well. I still prefer the EDP over the X-Straight, but the X-Straight is deeper, richer, spicier, great for the winter or colder weather. Then we have Rouge Smoking, also by BDK, which is kind of like a baby aspirin, cherry fragrance with this powdery violets. The powdery violets can be like baby aspirin, violet candies, all very similar, kind of. It's got that chalky powderiness along with this sweetness like sweet candy thing going on that's literally what violets smell like but with the cherry added it gives it that baby aspirin kind of taste taste or smell to it i love rouge smoking absolutely love it i find it very sexy um in a very seductive sort of powdery way mallow by soradora one of the best releases again to me it's like a violet musk mallow you're getting that candied violets i also get this like um powdery warm almost nutty like kind of feel like hazelnut kind of mild nuttiness blending in there 
I love Mallow. Absolutely love it. Mallow and Disney 100, a set are a little similar. This is a little warmer, sweeter, almost like baked like where that's more candy, fruity, strawberry like. And then I also have the new Gucci Guilty um, Elixir de Parfum. I love this. I don't know. People on For Granted Care were like ripping this apart. I like this one a lot. I wore this. I got this in cans and I wore it a lot. Like, look how much I went through that bottle on the trip. I don't know if you can see that. Like to there. I think I took a good dent out of this for just one week. Like I did spray it a lot. You need to spray it a lot, but I got to tell you, that store smelled phenomenal. I walked in the store and I was like, whatever smells like in here, I need to have that because it smells stinking good in here. To me, it was like fruity, candied violets, florals. Okay, the battery on my camera is like about dead. So this is violets with wisteria and rose and it's like florals, violet candies, in a vanilla patchouli tonka base and i still get that candied violet like fruity floral vibe the whole way through i see people in their reviews saying it, that it was this dry down to a vanilla patchouli they didn't like i personally got that candied violet fruity floral whole way so i don't know that's just my experience which is why i absolutely love this one i really like it love it so that's my I, kind of expensive I saw like the charge sheet after I came home from vacation and was like, I spent what on a 50 ml? Oh, mercy. It was cheap compared to the sneakers, but still way overpriced. Like, holy cow. Can't believe I paid full retail on that, but no taxes. Whew. But yeah, Gucci Guilty Elixir. Those are my favorite violet iris fragrances. Totally like the full gamut of styles there but love them all. This video is so long. Holy cow. But yes, if you want that 15 ml, let me know in the comment section. Leave your comment, subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.